Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing my monthly scent bird pick. This is from Florist London. This is a Rose 4. Now I was really excited about this fragrance. This has been a scent I've wanted to try and when I saw it was available as a scent bird uh, choice, I instantly added it to my queue. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. So let's get into the video. That being said, Florist London is a brand that is kind of prestige luxury. I did a video a like a year ago, a bit ago, talking about brands on Scentbird that are worth it in regards to the price per fluid ounce or per mil. And this is a great uh, return on investment, so to speak. It's a $235 bottle of perfume and I was excited to try this for a variety of different reasons when I talked to you guys about the notes. So this isn't a ripoff in regards to, it is an expensive bottle of perfume. And when you have a subscription service, it's $15.95 for, for this little guy right here. Usually without the, the case. And for some reason this month they gave me a case, which is really, really, really nice. I usually don't get a case. So if you know me, if you are familiar with my channel, you know I love rose, I love tea, and I love wood. So this, I was excited. Now, if I have mentioned any reference, any videos, I will definitely let you know because this has a Dar Darjeeling tea note. So this is the reason why I was excited to try this because I love tea and I did a whole video. I'm doing a whole video series talking about tea notes. I've done white tea, green tea, and black and oolong tea. And in the black and oolong tea, I specifically talk about, obviously, Darjeeling tea. So if you want to know my thoughts on Darjeeling tea notes and fragrances, then check out that video. But Darjeeling tea note, that tea is very, it's very specific. And with oud and orris and patchouli and vanilla, I was worried that it might be overpowered in this fragrance. And since I don't have that much experience with Florist London as a brand, I wanted to see how this smelled. So the top notes in this fragrance, I'm getting this straight from their website, is Darjeeling tea and incense. At the heart, you have rose, orris, and oud. And at the base, you have sandalwood, patchouli, and vanilla. Of course, there is other notes in there. Now, when I saw those notes, I was expecting some sort of woody, aromatic, smoky. Uh, I was hoping for some kind of balsamic, powdery, soft, sweet rose with a beautiful heart of tea. That's, that's what I was hoping for. Darjeeling tea to me isn't a top note type of note. Darjeeling black teas to me are more of a heart or a base note. It doesn't really hold as something that's going to open and bloom and blossom a fragrance. It could be of all the black teas, <laughs> it could be more of an opening note of other than maybe like King Mom or Pu'er or Lapsang Sing Chong. And honestly, like seeing the other notes in here, I think like a King Mom or a Lapsang Su Chong might have been a better tea note because the one thing I have to say about this is that it really doesn't have much of a tea body at all and my thought is is if you're if you're gonna put a tea note in there please please make it just uh, strong especially if it's a distinctive tea note however it still is a really nice scent. this is a rose fragrance through and through obviously there is oud and patchouli in this so it's a rose oud patchouli fragrance but it doesn't have that blistering, heavy, syrupy, overpowering saturation that a patchouli rose oud combination can have. It's a little bit lighter and softer and more powdery. There is a nice vanillic, soft, powdery, balsamic softness to this fragrance from the incense and the vanilla and the orris. It is kind of pillowy and marshmallowy in some cases. And I like how the sandalwood acts as more of a mayonnaise of all the notes and kind of tames everything. There is something about this where the woods pull a little sour. Not crazy sour, but it pulls a little tiny bit sour on the skin, 
which makes the rose not so sweet, not so big and velvety and romantic, and makes it lighter and a little bit fresher, which I actually really enjoy. But I think the issue I have is that this is a beautiful fragrance. It's a very wearable fragrance. It's a very easy fragrance, but I feel like it's missing something. And that's the issue that I have with this scent and why I enjoy Scentbird and discount sites and things like that is this is my first real experience with Florist London. I've smelled them a few different ways on strips and kind of spraying myself when I'm wearing uh, five different fragrances. And this is the first time I've actually like, sat down, maybe like one or two other scents, but like sat down and like, I'm gonna review a fragrance from this brand and seeing the notes and kind of having expectations for a luxury prestige brand that's trying to bring quality rather than creativity in regards to we're not trying to be avant-garde we're trying to bring you a luxury high-end experience i expect a more luxury high-end experience and this feels disjointed on the skin in a way that i don't think the 235 dollar price tag is quite there does it smell really nice yes actually it's a nice soft powdery rose i like that the woods aren't super skanky, super harsh. The patchouli is giving it a nice base without overpowering. The oud is definitely a less dramatic, less challenging, less intimidating oud. It's giving it more of a slight funkiness in the background with the patchouli, but it's not overpowering. I would say if you have an issue with powder, this would be more of a challenging scent than if you had an issue with oud because it's more of a soft powdery talcum like scent over like a rose oud patchouli combo like fragrance but it just feels like it's trying to be something and it's not successful in any regards if the oud was not there and they were focusing more on like a sandalwood and vanilla and an orris and a rose with a nice distinctive tea base I think this would have been phenomenal if they had focused more on an oud patchouli rose with something that was a little bit more sour and aromatic but still very silky but less sweet I think this would have been very interesting and dramatic and beautiful if they had focus on the type of body that a Darjeeling tea note would have and having it be kind of like a black tea rose fragrance and using all the other notes to kind of elevate that experience, having the vanilla add maybe a little bit of a creamy lectonic with the sandalwood and the oud and everything else kind of giving it something a little bit different in the background as a base to kind of elevate everything. It could have been great. I feel like it's a little disjointed in a way that it doesn't feel quite finished and that's the issue that I have with this it's not a bad fragrance it smells really nice but it's not going to be for everybody and so if you don't like powdery fragrances if you don't like oud fragrances if you don't like rose fragrances this isn't going to be the fragrance for you because in each of those ways it fails but also in each of those ways it succeeds it's a nice rose scent that has a nice soft, billowy, marshmallowy, semi-balsamic vanilla body to it that has some nice, slightly sour, aromatic woods that make it smell a little bit different and special. It's not your standard overpowering, heavy, um, almost beastly rose oud patchouli combo, but if you see those notes and that's what you're looking for, you're gonna be disappointed. And if you see a Darjeeling tea note and you're expecting a dominant black tea fragrance that has a lot of different woods and florals and aromatics, you're also gonna be disappointed. I feel like this is, sometimes I talk about fragrance as being a good first draft, but not a final cut. This is like in the middle. This is like they had a really good idea. They kind of started editing it, but they, they could have come back and kind of tweaked it one way. I feel like they had too many ideas with this scent and they needed to do a little bit of editing. This fragrance gets a little stuffy on your skin. It feels a little bit more dated and less mature and sophisticated. And although I do enjoy that, I feel that sometimes 
It can be stifling and suffocating and overpowering. And although I don't mind that, I don't know if this is going to be particularly safe for a lot of people. And I don't mean that in a way that it's avant-garde and unique and different. I feel that the composition could have been curated a little bit more. And that's what I was hoping for. I like the idea of this soft kind of talcum powdery marshmallowy rose with some nice incense and sour woods. I like the idea of an elegant, mature rose scent that has a nice tea note. I just feel like this composition could have used a little bit of editing and that's my major gripe with it. But it is a good scent and I do enjoy it. And I don't know if I would pay full retail price for this, but I would probably search out a decant or maybe try and find a bottle of it if it was on sale someplace. It is a good scent, but I don't know if it's like $235 worth of a fragrance, but that's just my personal point. It does last on the skin a long time, I will say that. And I would hope so considering it has sandalwood, vanilla, <laughs> oud, and rose, and incense. I would hope. If you're looking for a fragrance like this, you might really enjoy it. If you like powders, if you like rose, if you like those more mature fragrances, this will be worth checking out. However, I do wish that it was more mature and less dated in the composition. That's just my thoughts on this particular fragrance. But it is nice. It's not bad. I do enjoy wearing it, but I do think it could have been more special than it is with just a little bit more editing of the formula little bit more distinctive Darjeeling tea note in there would have been really, really That's nice. just my thoughts. So I would love to know what you guys think. Have you tried this fragrance? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree with my review? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.